Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's uh, Friday, February 19th. It's about 11 a.m., and uh, we're back at the yard here. I was just getting ready to get all the stuff out of my truck to go home, and uh, I was talking to, well, I shouldn't say talking, I was text messaging with our buddy Trucker Who a little bit earlier, and uh, he was asking me about coolers for, for, you know, keeping food out in the truck and everything. Now, I use the Coleman 40-quart iceless cooler, the 12-volt one. A lot of people don't like that cooler. I've read a lot of bad things about it. Me, personally, I love the thing, and I've never had any issues with it. So uh, we're going to take a look at the cooler, and I'm going to show you a few things as to why I think people are having issues with it. And, you know, I'll, I'll kind of show you what I do to kind of keep those things from happening. So let me flip the camera around, and let's take a look at the cooler. Okay, so there it is. That's the Coleman 40-quart iceless cooler. It's a 12-volt cooler. Plugs right into your 12-volt cigarette lighter adapter. And uh, basically, you can see the electric fan out here and I mean you can see you got a lot of you got a decent amount of room in there now my food supply is low because you know I'm at the end of my time out and I'm going home but so let's take a look at why I think some people have issues with this cooler a lot of people say that the thing burns up in a couple of months well I think there's a few reasons for that one I see a lot of guys do this this you need air across this at all times I see guys do this. Well, what do you think is going to happen if you don't let airflow come across those fins? You're going to burn it out. Okay, so that's one thing. And another thing is, and now mine actually does, it needs cleaned. But see all the dirt and the funk that's that's in this vent? Okay, you want to keep this clear because you need the airflow because this cooler works off of ambient temperature. So you can pop this cover off, just take the screws out, pop this off, clean it, make sure it's clear stick it back on okay and then that'll take care of that problem another reason I think people have issues they say that the plug melts well it's just a standard 12 volt plug right now I leave this from the time I come out move my sheet from the time I come out to the time I go home this cooler doesn't get unplugged now what I do is there's a couple things with this one you see this tip you want to make sometimes, sometimes this uh, the silver part on the end here will actually come loose. You know, from plugging it in and unplugging it all the time when you get in and out of the truck all the time. So uh, make sure this is tight. Every once in a while, just check it. Make sure it's tight. It's also come loose because as you're going down the road, this thing's vibrating in the socket. Okay. So what I do is twice a day, usually when I get up and before I go to sleep. You know, what I do is I just grab this and I just push on it, make sure it's tight, okay? And then I, I do it, like I said, twice a day. You know, from going down the road, you know, when this thing starts vibrating like this and jiggling, it starts to work its way out. And if it's not making good contact, now this starts to get hot. Next thing you know, you're melting the plug. So just make sure this stays tight in the receptacle. And then another thing is on the inside here now you can use this cooler you can stand it upright or you can lay it down me I choose to lay it down because I think you can fit more in it if you lay it down myself but it comes with this shelf now what I do is I purposely put this shelf in the highest slot that you can the reason for that is it keeps things away from this you know this is where your air is coming out of so you don't want to block that. You don't want food and plastic bags and everything else up against that because you're blocking the airflow. Remember, the whole key to this thing is airflow and circulation. That's what cools it. So I put this here, and it keeps this clear. And also, this pops off, this cover. Sometimes what happens with this, one of the downfalls of this cooler, which and I've actually learned how to manage this problem, one of the downfalls of this cooler is that it does work on ambient temperature. So what happens is, let's say it's it's cold, it's 20 degrees at night. If you close the curtain on your bunk, okay, when you go to bed, you pull the curtain across your bunk. Now all you have is from here to here covered, but the front of your truck is, is uh, 
you know, it's like a separate compartment now. So what's happening is when you're running your bunk heater, you're only heating the bunk. You know, nothing's going to get past the curtain. So if it goes down to 20 degrees outside, if it goes down to 20 degrees in the front of your truck, what's going to happen to the cooler? Well, if it works on ambient temperature, it's going to go down to minus 20 in this cooler. So what happens is you'll get ice build up on here. And you'll hear this thing start to grind. And, uh, it's because you got ice on this little this little fan right here. So what happens is you actually have to unplug the cooler, let it thaw out, and then you have a big puddle of water down in the bottom of this thing, and it's kind of a pain. So that's one of the downfalls. But what you do is to avoid that situation, because it's if you're going to put your cooler up here at night, what you can do is just unplug it. Because it's so cold up here that whatever you have inside of inside of the cooler food wise is not going to go bad. I've done it plenty of times. That's how I get around the icing problem. But I mean, other than that, you know, it's a really solid unit. I really like it. I've actually gotten to the point where just because I get tired of moving it, I just leave it right there all the time. I even sleep with it right there. I just put my feet around it, and it really doesn't, you know, doesn't make a difference. But um, and then what I do is when I go home, every time I go home, you know, I unplug it, I take it home, take the food out, I clean it out, you know, wash it out with soap and water, and then it's good to go. So let me flip this camera back around and we'll finish this off. Okay, guys, so, uh, you know, I hope you guys find that, that little review there helpful. I hope you find those little tips helpful as far as keeping it clean and with the plug and the little shelf on the inside that I kind of use as a barrier. Um trucker who especially i hope you find this informative and hopefully it'll help you make a good decision i will tell you guys if you buy that cooler don't buy it at the truck stop because it's like 120 dollars at the truck stop i've seen it at walmart well i'm not never in the store but you can get it online at walmart for like 97 dollars and i actually got that one from amazon it was on sale for 89 dollars so you know you can find it cheaper don't buy it in the truck stop unless you're absolutely desperate so uh but yeah, like I said, I mean, as far as the icing up problem, that's really the only issue that I've ever had with it. Uh, but again, I, you know, I solved that problem by, uh, if I put the cooler up front and I close the curtain, you know, if I got the bunk heater running and I got the heat in the back and it's ice cold up front, I unplug it at night. And you, you can bring frozen food with you. Because what I'll do is, like, if my wife cooks something, we'll freeze it. And then I'll put it, you know, in a in a plastic bag or whatever, because eventually it will thaw out. But it'll take a good, depending on what you bring, it'll take a good week for it to thaw out in there. And the other nice thing that I really like about this unit is it comes with a wall adapter. So what you do is, hold on, let me show you. Okay, it'll it'll come with an adapter, so you'll get you'll get a receptacle that'll fit you just plug this into the receptacle and then you can plug it right into your wall outlet in your house so what I do is you know like I'll when I go home today I'll clean it out I'll leave it unplugged and I'll let it sit for three four days or whatever however long I'm home and it takes three hours to get this thing down to where it's ready to have food stocked back in it so what I do is when before like the day before I'm gonna go back out like at night I'll plug it in I'll let you know, I'll plug it into the house outlet and I'll get it cold. I'll let it cool. I'll put all my food in it. And then this way it's pre-cooled and everything's ready to go and then all I got to do the next morning is when I get up to leave, I just unplug it out of the wall. I grab the cooler, stick it in the car, plug it into the cigarette lighter, and you know everything everything's good to go that way. So um I guess that's about it. So again, I'm sorry this video was so long. They've been getting long lately for some reason, but uh but yeah, I, I, a trucker who especially, I hope you find this really informative and helpful. I hope uh, it, it kind of clears up any uh, doubts or anything you might have about this cooler. Again, I hear a lot of guys complain about it. I love the thing. I've never had any issues at all with it. So, um, you know, that's just my take on it. You know, I kind of learned from what I read about it. You know, the, most of the thing is people say it's burning up. But doing what I've been doing with the plug and, and keeping the thing clean and clear on the inside, keeping your screen on the outside clear, I've never had an issue with it. I had, Like I said, I have had the issue with it icing up, but that's just because, you know, it does work on ambient temperature. So if you leave that thing up front and you leave it plugged in and it's pumping air, 
you're going to get down to minus 20, minus 30. So what do you think is going to happen? So, um, but yeah, other than that, you know, that's about all I got to say about it. I, I really like it. You know, if this thing were to blow up today, I'd go out and buy another one. So that's just my take on it. So I hope you guys found that helpful and informative if anybody's in the market for a cooler. So, um, I guess that's about it. So trucker who, I hope that answers any questions. So obviously, you know, you can give me a call at any time with, with, if you ever need anything and, uh, Anybody else out there, you know, if you want to get a hold of me, you can email me, helpwithtrucking at hotmail.com, or leave a comment on the video, and, and eventually I'll get back to you. So, again, I apologize this was so long. I'm going to cut it off here. So, until next time, everybody be good, be smart, and be safe. I'll see you down the road later on.